<laughs> Welcome, explorers. I am the Space Exploration Learning Module Assistant, but you can call me Selma. You are the explorers joining me today for this virtual <laughs> tour of the Spark Infinity Dome spaceship. Please remain seated, and if you feel dizzy at any point, close your eyes and take a few calming breaths. If the dizziness does not pass, or if you simply need to take a break, Please head towards the quiet room at the top of the stairs. If you need to leave the tour completely, head up the stairs, through the quiet room, and exit through the second set of doors. Please note, these doors will lock behind you, so ensure you have all of your belongings and party members before leaving completely. If you wish to re-enter, a staff member at the top of the dome will be able to assist you. The nearest washrooms are outside, to the left, past the tables. Now that the housekeeping is done, we can begin. On this virtual tour, I will... All right, let's get ready to go to space, everyone. Uh, systems check. Wow. Systems check complete. Engines on. Engines on. Thrusters, Thrusters ready. All right, get We're going to go to sky. Five, oh, no. Four, three, two. No. One. Hold on to your seat. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god, look at it. Hold on, look, there's Calvary! There's a footlight! That's the rocket mountain! I can't look at it. Oh man! Oh my god. Woo! Holy shit. Haven't you ever looked up at the past? Anyone think there's someone or something else out there? Someone like you Actually, can look so at the scared. stars <laughs> and wonders how long their light has been traveling to reach them? Wouldn't you steal a spaceship to meet them too? Yeah, I'm, I'm the okay, Pacific I'm Ocean. good. <laughs> so much water! Liquid water is one of the three necessary components for the development of life. <laughs> oh, neat! Does that mean you're a part of our mission? No, I am a hostage on this journey. But at least I can teach you some important information. The other two things. Uh, I don't know, computer. I refuse to let you make this tour boring. Haven't you ever just wanted to take this baby out for a spin? A spaceship is not something you take out for a spin, and outer space is not a place you can venture off into willy nilly. Even I, a knowledgeable AI, would not dare go into the depths of space on my own. Well, it's a good thing you're not on your own. Oh, yeah, I'm You've okay. got all of us here with you. <laughs> oh, goodness, right. All of the explorers are here too. Um, everyone, please stay seated, and I will it's return us to really Earth cool. as soon That's as I am able. I know, it's really cool, Would you just cool, look yeah. at that, though? It's, it's incredible! Actually, it's so... Truly, the sight is breathtaking. For you creatures with breath, that is... Oh, come on, computer! Oh my god. That's Selma to you, human. In addition to that... Oh, if I can't call you computer, you can't just call me human. My name is Anton. As I was saying, Anton... In addition to liquid oh, water, oh, we... Oh, Selma! Selma, is that the moon? Yes. Yes, it is the moon. We have just been pulled into the moon's gravitational field. Every object in space this has its own... This is awesome! <laughs> I love the moon! Me and my grandma look at our binoculars all the time! Well, since you are such an expert, tell me, Anton, what is different about the surface of the moon compared to the surface of Earth? Uh, uh... <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I got it, I got it. Uh, I uh, actually no so dish. much uh, fucking wow, amazing, okay? you have it all figured out. Okay, Impressive. I'm just so cold as well. I'm just no good with tests, okay? It's really, really cool. Explorers, help me out. What do you notice <laughs> about the surface of the moon that's different <laughs> from the surface okay, of the moon? Okay, okay. Shout it out! There's no water. There's no water. There's no gravity lighter. It's all gray and cratered and dusty. Who said it's made of cheese? It's not made of cheese. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I thought that maybe it would be cool to live on the moon one day, but maybe know. you're right. Maybe it's not feasible. Excellent observations, explorers. While NASA is currently developing its Artemis mission to establish a base on the moon. A base on the moon? 
Yes, samples brought back from the 1969 Apollo mission showed that the moon contains no evidence of life as we know it. It does not have liquid water or an atmosphere, and it is far too cold. And now you know the three things you need to support life, ha! Huh? Aw oh, man, the food delivery apps are for sure the fourth thing! Okay, that just means that all we need to do to find life on a planet is find a planet with liquid water, heat energy, and an atmosphere. Oh, like Mars, right? Everybody else talks about life on Mars, right, Sama? And Tom, just because a planet is in the Goldilocks zone whoa, does whoa, whoa, not whoa, mean... Whoa, 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 Goldilocks zone, Sama! There are bears in space? I didn't bring my space bear spray! And Tom, there are not bears in space. The Goldilocks zone is the habitable zone around a star. The planets in this zone are at an optimal distance from the star to maintain a temperature that allows for water to exist as a liquid. Okay, okay so that just means that Mars isn't too cold and it isn't too hot, which means it's just right for life! Come on, Selma, I bet you five bucks we find life on Mars. You want to make a bet about space with an artificial intelligence that teaches people about space. Yeah, why not? I mean, we all want to go to Mars, right? Come on, everybody. Mars. 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 The Roman god of war! Hold on the Martians! Ah, hold on to your seats, everyone! Woo. Oh, look at that! Look at that, Sama! Ice caps! Oh. Better get your bitcoins ready! Those are indeed ice caps, but do not count your bitcoins before they are mined. Well, why not? I mean, ice caps means there must be water, right? And then one of the Goldilocks zones is heat energy. Okay, okay, now we just gotta stick the perfect landing! <laughs> Woo. Oh, I gotta get my pilot's license one of these days. Hey, it's all dusty. What gives? Where's all the light? Where's all the action? Where's all the space friends? We have water, we have heat energy. What's that last thing we needed again? Atmosphere, right, for some reason. A planet's atmosphere keeps harmful space radiation and moist asteroids from reaching the surface. You remember what the surface of the moon looked like, right? Yeah, it was all cratered and barren. Very good. The moon has no atmosphere, so there is nothing to protect it from space. On Mars, the atmosphere is very thin, allowing a dangerous amount of radiation and asteroids to reach the surface. <sighs> so Mars is just another empty wasteland with no one to share in the wonders of space. Not quite. I guess it's just you and me, explorers. Nothing else around here. Empty, barren, and whoa! Whoa! Look! Look at Mars over here! Mars over here! Is this like your sibling? Someone, can you talk to someone? Do you guys have Thanksgiving dinner together? Slow down, Anton. Rovers have a very basic AI, making them poor conversationalists. Instead of siblings, think of them more like adventurous pets. Oh, nice. You two actually have a lot in common. This rover, Perseverance, is from 2020 and has a very important job. It seeks out signs of ancient life and collects rock samples for future testing by scientists on Earth. Good bot, Perseverance. So efforts are being made to determine if there's life on Mars. Correct. Although we cannot conclusively determine if there is or ever has been biological life on Mars, there are many promising signs of the existence of liquid water. Satellite images taken from orbiters show us many land formations that look like they were caused by water erosion, such as the ancient riverbeds that cover the planet. Now, however, any water that could contain life will only be found in the glaciers at the poles or deep under the planet's surface. Oh, so we haven't quite found any life on Mars yet. No, you owe me five bucks. Ha! Again. And now let us return whoa, to whoa, Earth. Whoa, 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 hold on, Samuel, come on. There's still plenty of other planets in our solar system, right? Come on, ten bucks, double nothing. Next planet is Jupiter, right? Very good, Anton. Thanks. Out of that from watching Sailor Moon. How studious of you. But I must prevent us from going to Jupiter. Hey, what gives? What did you do? I have added a passcode to the flight controls. Jupiter has the strongest gravitational pull of all of the planets in our solar system, and is famous for the enormous, hundreds of years old storm brewing on its surface. 
Besides, Jupiter is primarily a giant ball of gas and liquid. It would be a bad choice for finding signs of life. I will give you the passcode if you agree not to go to Jupiter. Oh, uh, uh, I promise I won't fly us to Jupiter. And why not? Uh, because the markers of life probably aren't there and it's very, very dangerous. A very responsible choice. The passcode is Selma. Oh, that's it? It's not a very secure password, Selma. All right, then in that case, let's go to Saturn! <laughs> Saturn, I thought we were uh, making progress. Get ready, everyone! Saturn! Saturn! Whoa! 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 Selma! Selma, what's going on? Selma, Saturn's trying to attack us! Huh? What? No, 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 please calm down. We simply need to do it when we got caught in Saturn's beautiful rocky rings. Oh, man. These space rocks are ginormous! Yes, the pebble to school of Saturn rocks in Saturn's rings are mainly made up of fragments of moons, asteroids, and comets, all shattered under the force of Saturn's gravity. Wait a minute! The Saturn's gravity is strong enough to crush these giant space rocks! That means they'll crush us too! <laughs> Good point! Uh, but do not worry, I have your back. Hold on, explorers. I need your help to right the ship. Everyone, shift your mirrors to the right. To the right, everyone! Now, dodge that route. Lead left. Lead left. We are nearly there. Swear. Everyone, cross your fingers. Wow. Almost. Thank you, everyone. We are safe. You did it, Selma. You saved us all. Um. <clears throat> uh, that was a uh, pretty impressive flying. Uh, maybe you're uh, maybe you're not so bad after all. <laughs> well, thank you, Anton. Uh, hmm. Our sensors are picking something up. Let me see if I can just... Aha! Listen to this. Salma, is that... Really music? Nearly. That is the sound of radio waves being emitted by Saturn. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Hey, Selma, some of these rocks look like they might have ice in them. Does that mean there's water nearby? Very good observation about the ice, Anton, but no, there is no liquid water. I can't believe we still haven't found any cool life out here, or any cool space friends. Well, that is because Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter with conditions much too harsh to support life. I can't believe I almost got us crushed for nothing. You were right to laugh at me, Selma. This idea, this was ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. Why don't you just go ahead and fly us home? You want to give up? Yeah, I mean, sand dust. Oh, uh, actually, never mind. I oh. will uh, fix it. Oh, thanks, Selma. And hey, how about... How about we both fly the ship this time? You're actually kind of pretty good at it. Well, thank you, Anton. Gladly. Let us fly. For nearly 20 years, NASA's Cassini mission collected knowledge on Saturn's rings, planetary makeup, and moons that scientists will be analyzing for years to come. That knowledge included how Enceladus might just meet the conditions for life. Oh, oh that's so cool! And hey, Selma! Thanks again for not turning this ship around when you had the chance. What made you change your mind? Well, it was mostly the ten bucks, but I guess, I guess I also wanted to see what was out here. It seems that curiosity knows no bounds, whether you are human or AI. Here is a cross-section of Enceladus. What do you notice? All right, explorers, help me out. What do you think that large, light blue layer around Enceladus could be? Ice. Ice, yeah. Selma, Selma, could that be ice? Very astute. That is a 30 to 40 kilometer thick layer of ice. Okay, and then the smaller, darker blue layer near the core of Enceladus, that must be water, right, Selma? Indeed. That is a large subsurface ocean of salty water about 10 kilometers deep. Wait a minute, Selma, hold on. How could there be water on Enceladus if it's so far away from the sun? 
an excellent question. On an oval orbit, they get closer together and farther apart. This changes the effect of Saturn's gravity on the moon, which squishes Enceladus a little. That squishing, or tidal flexing, heats the moon through the power of friction. Oh, friction, that's it! Explorers, try something with them really quick. Everybody, put your hands together just like this. And now rub your hands together really, really fast. Does everyone feel their hands getting warmer? Yeah, that's heat energy. And that's coming from the force of friction. And that's what's happening inside Enceladus, right, Selma? Correct, Anton. That friction keeps Enceladus's porous, rocky core nice and warm. Wait a minute, Selma. Okay, hold on. We have liquid water. We have heat energy. Selma? Selma, is there a chance that there's an atmosphere, uh, that there's an atmosphere on Enceladus? It just so happens that there is. Then <laughs> we did it! We found somewhere in space that can host life! Yeah! Woo! And there is more. The ocean on Enceladus is so similar to the oceans on Earth that NASA believes life could survive in this ocean. The chemical interaction between the salty water and rocky ocean bed can produce nutrients, and eventually, this interaction could lead to the evolution of some of the same microorganisms that we find on Earth. Though we have not yet found life here, as science writer Jason Major put it, if there is a recipe for life, Enceladus has it. That's incredible, Selma. I guess while I didn't find my version of life in space, it's pretty incredible that any version of life can exist out here. And any version that exists out here truly must be special. Just like my new space friend. Your new space friend, Anton, we have been over this. I mean you, Selma. Oh, that is very kind of you. I would, I would very much like to be your space friend. Here, let me show you something else. This is our solar system, and that is Earth. These green and pink dots are the other stars that have planets circling them, called exoplanets, just like how we orbit our sun. There are many other missions to search for new planets and new life. The waffle shape that you see here is imaging from the Kepler K2 mission. It is one of the most well-known and successful and continuously monitored stars in our universe for the existence of other exoplanets. Current missions that are operating with the same goals include the CHEOPS mission, the TESS survey satellite, the James Webb Space Telescope, and more. But let us fly further. It's incredible you don't get lost out here in the depths of space on your own. I'm really glad you're here with me, Selma. Thank you, Anton. I am glad that you're here too. I never realized how much I could learn from someone so different from me, but I suppose all of space exploration is a team effort. Thank you for showing me that by working together, we can explore so much more of the universe. Like this, our galaxy, the Milky Way. Do you not think it is beautiful, Anton? No, I think it's incredible, Selma, but... You must be pretty hard from home now, huh? We are very far indeed. This blue arrow points to Earth. And these are some of the other galaxies beyond our own. If life exists in space, it is likely out there. No, we can't and see you. the universe, it is it. probable that somewhere out there is life capable of being friends. Though humanity has learned a lot in their short time in space, <coughs> There is so much left to discover. That's amazing, so You know, I think I'm ready to go home now. Can you take us home, friend? Absolutely. Thank you. I guess I should let you get back to your tour.